We're talking about learning to live before God. Learning to live our life before God. Let's talk about some other practical ways. Certainly how we treat other people. Um, living before God will reflect in how we treat other people. Listen to this precious word from the book of Leviticus and verses 19 and verses 13 and 14. It says, you shall not oppress your neighbor or rob him. The wages of a hired man are not to remain with you all night until morning. In other words, the way you pay someone who's done work for you, the way you treat your neighbor. It says, you shall not curse a deaf man, Leviticus 19.14, nor place a stumbling block before the blind. Don't take advantage of those that maybe you could take advantage of. But you shall revere your God. I am the Lord. So living before God and how you treat others. Living before God, even in how you go about Christian disciplines. Our Lord warned this in Matthew chapter 6 and verse 1. He says, beware of practicing your righteousness before men as your ultimate audience and not before God. Uh, and he talks about giving and, and praying and fasting appropriately or inappropriately, depending on if we do it before the Lord or we do it before man. Even scripture will talk about the way we submit to one another, show respect to one another. He says we submit to one another in the fear of the Lord. See, sometimes it's easy to submit to somebody really in the fear of that person. And you're not free. It's not a submission from the heart. It's not a respect from the heart. You sort of resent it to some degree. Uh, but there is a freedom in submitting under the Lord. Ephesians 5, 21. See, that's the kind of submission that God's Spirit empowers us to do as we seek to live before Him. You know, uh, seeking to live before God, you know we need help. Uh, even the individual whom God would choose to be the king over the nation of Israel, his people who represented him to the world. Here's the instruction he gave that king because he wanted that king to live before God because he knew that person of his influence would have a great influence upon others. Even your life has a great influence upon those that you're around. And so this is, inf this is insight that all of us can use. He says in Deuteronomy 17, verses 18 and following. It shall come about when he sits on the throne of his kingdom. He shall write for himself a copy of this law on a scroll in the presence of the Levitical priest. It shall be with him and he shall read it all the days of his life that he may learn to fear the Lord his God by carefully observing all the words of this law and these statutes that his heart may not be lifted up above his countrymen and that he may not turn aside from the commandments to the right or to the left, so that he and his sons may continue long in the kingdom in the midst of Israel. You see, this fear of God, this living before him, the way we treat others, um, the way we do our disciplines, the way we submit to others, as we've talked about in previous lessons, the way we use our tongues, um, all of these are we, in order to cultivate that, it needs to be cultivated by what? A careful attention to God's precious word. Father, would you even addict us to the joy of seeking you and your precious truth? And would you build in us a fear of you that we live before you in all areas of our life? In Christ's name, amen.